I have completed my packing for um, two weeks in Gran Canaria over Christmas and New Year. Well, that, that would be the, the first lie you've told today. I didn't actually do my uh, packing myself. I specialise in asking other people to do it. I, I, I delegate all responsibility. So then when, when, when there's a fuck up, it's not my fault um, and I can blame others. Um, but I just sort of, I do a, a check at the end. Um, I, I, the head of packing appears to have done the job, but if there's a plug left or a passport left or a boarding pass, not my fault. That's the advice of the day. Now this is by the Connor Brothers. Every saint has a past and every sinner has a future. We're currently betting on who's going to be the next CEO of Entain and it's become very fashionable to criticise a Mr Kenneth Alexander who um, built the company from a £25 million nobody um, to, and he ended up um, uh, being given what was described as the rubbish of sporting bet and he got the best bit um, and uh, with that that he, he grafted and with his guile he got enormous loans and bought Ladbrokes corals and Bewin uh, and uh, now uh, I was told a phrase where, uh, many years ago in business if you're not at the table you're at the menu all of the people with these wonderful job titles are um, uh, um, finding ways to criticize him and blame him for um, uh, everything that they're not achieving that he did achieve um, but uh, hats off to Mr Kenneth Alexander I invested with him and he was excellent and uh, his he didn't just pay dividends he paid double dividends however um, uh, uh, I have had two whispers in the last 24 hours for a Mr Johnny Hartnett uh, Mr. Hartnett used to work at Paddy Power and he's now, uh, he then moved on to a senior position and did very well at Superbet. Um, uh, but uh, he coincidentally, and I don't believe in coincidences, left two weeks ago. Oh, what a coincidence. Good timing for Mr. Hartnett if he's applying to be the boss of Entain.